1,000 fans in the process of gathering inside Thielen Stadium. This venerable old stadium will be filled to capacity this afternoon as we welcome you to the Home Depot SEC on CBS. The top-ranked LSU Tigers undefeated against the Tennessee Volunteers who come into this encounter three and two. Hard to describe how beautiful this afternoon is, but the pictures help emphasize the point. 69 degrees, winds out of the west-northwest at 12, and the forecast for continued sunny skies. As we mentioned first time that uh, the Tigers have made the trip here to Knoxville. They are not annual opponents. Tennessee out of the east, LSU out of the west, of course. And this uh, LSU team has played so well on the road this year. Yeah. They won against Oregon in a neutral site. They won at Mississippi State. They won at West Virginia, and each of those teams was ranked at the time of the games. And they seem to be able to morph their team into whatever they have to do, whether it's a passing game or a running game. The athletes of this LSU football team seem to be able to show their skills in what other game. I think Tennessee's going to try to attack them a little more slow down than what they've been used to. We're set to go. LSU, as we said, won the toss, deferred the kick. James Hairston is kicking off for the third consecutive, fourth consecutive game. And he planted one deep last week in the win over Florida. This one returnable, taken at the two by Devron Young. Forced out of bounds, but a great return gives Matt Sims and the Volunteers terrific field position to open the game. Different style because no Bray and no Hunter in this football game. First down and five now. Second down. Little shovel pass underneath. It's complete. That's the first down. That's Devron Young. First down, Tennessee all the way out to the 45-yard line. Morris Claiborne with the tackle. Derek Dooley telling us yesterday, you're going to see four running backs, and one of them will be the freshman, Devron Young. Yeah, they fake to him, and then he sidesteps the blitz and just continues out. They said they wanted to get Young 10 touches in this football game. Yes, he does. On third down. Here's the handoff on the draw play. This is Martin Lane. Oh, he yeah. is uh, very close for the first down. Yeah, and see that penalty now. Now Derek Dooley's got a decision. Whoops. Now, now they'll punt. Yes, they certainly will. Dallas Thomas, number 71, is the fellow who moved the left tackle. Well, wasn't that interesting? Fourth and less than a yard. Number 78 of the offense. Five-yard penalty. Just, just wonder what they were going to do here. Fourth and less than a yard, and they were going to go shotgun. Were they going to try to run the ball or throw the ball? Happens right up here at the top. Does appear that it was a pass play called. And that's going to bring on Matt Dar, number five, the punter. And Tyron Matthew back inside the 15-yard line again. High, short, very short. Oh, on smart, one wow, smart, smart. Matthew runs under it, grab, grabs it, and is out of bounds near the 35-yard line. He's absolutely fearless of a football player. He wants the ball as a defender. Scrimmage, Brent Brewer, the safety's right there. Fake toss, Lee going deep right side. Good Just cover. incomplete, fine coverage deep. Whoa. Flag down. Was a little bit of a stutter pass that time. Comes down, stutters a bit, tries to draw the defense, and then goes by him. Guy grabbed him. You could see it right there. Grabbed him. Odell Beckman. Beckham, he grabbed him. And when you got there, that's what happened. Marsalis Teague, number 10, is... Uh, Seemed like the official that time couldn't get the flag out of his pocket or it would have came out early. The crowd. Number 23 of the The, the crowd reacted to the late flag, but he was trying, he was stuck in his pocket. Or tomorrow, for that matter, second down. 
Yep, safety. Here he is again. Trent Brewer again. Yep. Young man who played minor league baseball for a few years. Brent Brewer. Yep, it's an eight-man front again. Third down, ten. A lot of time. Bad pass. Boy, he got eaten up on that play. Woo. That was good coverage outside by Isaiah Lanier, number 18. Just ate him up on the play. Randall was nowhere near being open. Yeah, Tyler Bray's good, but so am I. I want a chance, too. Started his career, did Sims. Here he goes right side. This one was complete. Got to Ben Bartholomew. The full oh, that was nice. Oh, yes. yes. And he's out to the 17-yard line. Let's go back to the studio for a John Hancock update here. After allegedly failing a test a week ago for alcohol on the set. Incomplete. Fourth down. That was nice coverage that time. That you can tell right away. <laughs> it doesn't feel the same. <laughs> Get used to those, you know. <laughs> Second down and 14. <laughs> you asked for it. I know, I know. There is a nice throw, isn't it? Yes, it was. And the play still alive to the 31, 30-yard line. Ruben Randall again. On this team. Spencer Ware. Oh, he is stuffed. Maybe still fighting, but and I don't know. No, no way. Nope. Maybe back up center. Yeah, that's right. Well, they tried to run the ball right up the middle that time and got it stuffed. Jacquez Smith was the first man there. Yeah, absolutely. The center. I think it was I don't know if it was Malik Jackson that stood up a bear on that play, but no movement up front. They'll go field goal. And they will be forced to try the field goal as Jacquez Smith. He was on top of the pile, number 55. Jacquez Smith out of the uh, Chattanooga suburb of Ultawa, Tennessee. And keep your eyes open. Les likes to do about anything in these situations. Yep. Drew Alamon on for the field goal attempt. Brad Wing will hold. Blocked. Indeed. How about that? I don't think I think they're going to go over again. I think it was a delay of game. No play. Mm. Huh? Was it Kurt Majit that made yes, the block? It yes, it was. Boy, I'll tell you, if this was a delay of game, Derek Dooley's just going to about go through the roof. Every time he thinks something good happens, it doesn't. Was this blown dead? Prior to the snap. Delay a game on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Fourth down. Remember, they thought they had the game won last year until a penalty gave LSU another shot at it. Matt, have we not? I, 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 I got to say, I would think about going for it here. It's about where the opening kickoff was run out. They will pass on the field goal attempt. Alamone's longest of the year is 44. This would have been a 52 or 3 They're going to get a delay a game again. Hmm. The leg game on the offense. Yeah, that. All right. Five yard penalty from the previous. Well, that, that puts it now to two down. options. They're not, it's not a 53 yard okay. field goal. They probably won't go for it. Either going to punt or fake it. That is really a meaningless penalty now. If you're going to yeah. punt the ball, it doesn't make any difference. Did you see the note about Georgia last week? They actually, they had a Probably fourth and 56. Third and 56, I think, too, before that. Here's Wings punt. Perfect. Oh, nice try. Yes, it was. Who else? Matthew. Honey Badger. Yep. Well, I'll tell you, this Tennessee football team has got exactly what they wanted. They're going to enter the second quarter of the game 0-0. It's been a little different. Penalties, block field goal that didn't count. They don't have many, much offense, but they're in the football game. Neither team has much offense, do they? Not, not uh, no. so far. 53 to 59 yards. Torn Poole is the tailback. Here's Sims. Play action deep right side. Oh. Did he catch it in or out? Out of, out of bounds. They ran stutters on both sides. 
Zach Rogers on one side and then to the bottom of the formation. Ray John Neal caught the ball, but he caught it out of bounds. Let's see. Tipped. Tipped again. Ooh, his right foot might have been in. They're going to have to review this one. Tipped. The when does he catch it? Right now. Oh, yeah. Hello. That's going to be a completion. Going on the field with an incomplete pass. Previous play is under further review. Yeah, and you know why all the, the crowd is cheering? Because of the Jumbotron out here. They've already showed the replay, and they think we've got 107,000 replay officials here, and they think this is a good catch. It's a fantastic catch. There's no doubt about that, but he, yes, he's got it. He's in bounds. That's Mike Washington, the field judge, who is looking down. Did he call it out of bounds? Yes, he did. Matt Moore getting ready to let us know the decision. Reached by Mike McGinnis. After review, the video evidence shows a catch. They got it right. I believe they did. And there is no doubt in my mind that offensive coordinator Jim Chaney was going to take a few shots downfield. He really didn't believe he could drive the ball on the LSU defense six, seven first downs in a row. He knew he needed some big plays, and he knew he'd have to manufacture them one way or another. That's a 38-yard completion. Matt Sims to Ray John Neal and a first down at the 42. Play action again. Sims looks left side. Man for man coverage. This one is picked off. Intercepted at the five yard line. Morris Claiborne, number 17. Oh boy, he could watch go. out now. Yep. Claiborne, one man to beat. Lines, another from behind. He's caught and dropped by Zach Rogers but nearly an end-to-end -end return with the pick. You know, that matchup was Morris Claiborne against A. Rick Rogers, the most physical receiver for Tennessee. Sims is just going to put it up and say, my guy could beat your guy. It's bump and run. When he throws it, he's got a one-on-one -on -one to the top of the screen. Claiborne wins the one-on-one. -on -one. When the ball goes up in the air, Claiborne goes and gets it at the top. You got to figure your receiver is going to help you out there. You got 40 yards of air time. If you can't catch it, you can't let the other guy catch it. In a big win at West Virginia, Claiborne returned to kickoff 99 yards. That interception return was for 89. No touchdown because of the hustle and, shown by Zach Rogers. And, and another blow for all those people who believe in momentum. <laughs> you got to preach to the congregation uh, when, well, you, nobody get an, believes me, but when I, you get an opportunity. Right. Yeah. When I retire, I'll still be doing it. It's always good to have you in the pulpit. <laughs> That's the end of the first quarter. No score so far. We'll return to Neyland Stadium after this message and a word from your local station. Back to Neyland Stadium, Knoxville, Tennessee. We began the second quarter. Vern Lundquist, Gary Danielson, Tracy Wolfson. LSU with a second down and goal at the five following an 89-yard interception return by Morris Claiborne. This is the heavy formation. That's Copeland, number 44, weighs 280 at fullback. Spencer Ware, the deep back in the eye, and Jarrett Lee is the quarterback. Steps up, Randall. Reuben Randall has it. And that's a touchdown, LSU. Well, was that great timing on that throw? A very emotional week, I'm sure, in this his return. And John uh, elected to take the silent route and didn't get any interviews this week. And there's Sims, who's hit as he lets it go, and it's incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Michael Brockers, this time, is the man who got there. First down. 
Jarrett Lee still a quarterback. Alfred Blue is the only man in the backfield, and he gets the handoff and comes right, and he won't get much. Well, Johnny Majors, when he was the coach here, was known as much for his uh, ingenuity as a coach as for his wardrobe. He wore orange pants. And Derek Dooley, when he took the job, said he knew that Majors had worn the orange pants. He was also inspired by a story of Condridge Holloway, the great Tennessee player from two decades ago. So, and they dotted three times to get the color right. Eye formation. Lee, play action. Man open, nice tap dance on the sidelines. And the catch is made by Ruben Randall. Fullback alongside Jefferson. Two wides to the right side. Tennessee. Delayed blitz. Jefferson in trouble. Got him. There you go. Yeah, that was a pass play, too. That was not a called run. That was a called pass. Jared Lee has replaced Jordan Jefferson on this third down play. So Lee back. Ruben Randall. Split way wide to the left. Three wide receivers down at the bottom of the screen. Third and 11. Tennessee brings the house. Oh, he's got it. Touchdown, Spencer Ware. Well, I tell you, LSU was almost conceding. They did not want to gamble and lose a try for a field goal. I think what you said, Vern, Tennessee was a little bit too aggressive here. But with this configuration without Hunter, I think they have to be what they are right here. A little bit of play action, a little bit of running. Here's the play action. Dump it off. Got the check down. Going deep into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Yep. Picked off by Eric Reed, number one. That was a bad read, so to speak. Yes, bad read for to a good read player. Well, sadness for... <laughs> uh, Not that I'd notice those things. Yeah, of course. I understand. Third down. Left side. Oh. Again, enough pass rush to throw Jared Lee off his footing. I'll tell you, Malik Jackson. And the coaches raved about M Malik Jackson. That's, he doesn't have one. No catches. No catches. Ty Matthew. The Honey Badger, that's the nickname given to him. Here's the deep pass left side. Incomplete, almost a grab by Zach Rogers, number 83. Again, Claiborne in perfect position on this one, Vern. I violated the rule. I have never met a good, shy cornerback. <laughs> Here's the pass. That one is complete all the way across midfield. Derek Rogers. <laughs> for timing. Well, there you go. <laughs> he out physical him at the line of scrimmage. Watch him knock Matthew out of the way. You remember LSU gets the ball in the second half. This may be the last time Tennessee gets it in the first half. Critical. First down. Up the middle. Little trickeration. Torn pool carries it. And the umpire paid a price. And now second down just outside the five. 14 nothing. Try the same play. This time, no positive result. Brandon Taylor, number 18. Eric Reed's coming back on the, on the field now for this uh, critical third down play. Look at the red zone. Defensive numbers by LSU. Only 13 trips inside by the six previous opponents. Yeah, considering they played Oregon and West Virginia, yeah. those are impressive stats. Two wide to the right, one to the left on third and goal. Shotgun for Sims. Blitz for LSU. Gets time. Fires it incomplete. Uh, my Flag. interference. Ty Matthew, yes. Absolutely. The Honey Badger. Got flag. The Anthony Arnett was the intended receiver you know that's one where matthew read that play so quickly he knew where that ball was going those ball instincts that time he knew arnett was going to go on the out route and he almost beat him to the spot ran right up his back that's interference number seven of the defense ball will be placed at the start of the foul the two-yard line automatic first down after the penalty first down and goal i formation Bartholomew, the fullback, leads the way near the goal line. Touchdown!
touchdown, Tennessee. Torin Poole. And a little dance at the end of the run. First down. Under two to go. Yes, they are. Lee. Oh, my goodness. Randall down the sidelines. How about that? Yeah. Bad technique to the outside. It's all right if a guy completes one, but you got to stop him afterwards. Marcellus Teague, that's the second time in this game. Play action. Lee being chased. Let's it go. Back up. Is it caught? Yes, what at the one-yard line. What a catch. Jeevening. Christmas. D'Angelo. I can't. D'Angelo Peterson. Michael Ford is in. Jefferson is as well at quarterback. And no indication of a touchdown yet. No timeouts now. Yeah, remaining for LSU. Plenty of time. You got a full four-second four clock. And a decision to make. Well, maybe they'll do that play at the end of the last game where they put 13 guys in and 12 guys and they run back and forth. Well, Les Miles over his seven-year career has uh, been involved in some controversial finishes for LSU. It's Alamon on fourth down. Brad Wing will hold it. Clock has started. 25 seconds to go. 18-yard field goal. Drew Alamon. Well, that's a victory for the Tennessee defense. Well, I, I have to admit, I thought they would go for it. I did, I really, too. I really did. I have to admit it. But 10-point lead. You try to win a national championship on the road. Tight game, one point. So they, they're already where they were, and they've had a couple declines. So they're not playing as clean a game as they did on the road last year. Matt Sims back in uh, the starter's position after the injury to Tyler Bray and Sims ends the half 4 of 12 with two interceptions but uh, his team is within hailing distance they're down by 10 as we go to the halftime break Ruben Randall with a big first half LSU band is on hand into the first half with the score 17-7 LSU let's go to Tim Brando who's back in our New York studio And that's a touchdown, LSU. But it's hard. Touchdown, LSU. Fast intercepted. He's in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Halftime at Neyland in Knoxville. And it's 17-7. The undefeated Tigers of LSU leading Tennessee. Well, you still have a very, very strong association with your alma mater. Well, I sure do. It's been special to me. And, uh... Uh, probably four of the greatest years of my life here in Knoxville. And so I, uh, I come back quite often. I spent a lot of time with the team. I've really gotten to know Derek Dooley uh, quite well. And I really enjoy being around him. And um, we play the Bengals tomorrow, not too far away from Knoxville. So I'll be, I'll be in Cincinnati tonight. Third and five like this. No, I wouldn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be a fan of it. Right. Third down five. LSU opening drive here in the third quarter. If Jefferson in at quarterback, drills it. He's got the first down. And a nice pass yeah. to Odell Beckham Jr. for the first down. Of keeping the players. You know, kiddingly, we were saying that Odell Beckham said that he put Tennessee in the top five just because of your training facility right there, the locker room. Well, that's, 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 a, that's a nice compliment, I guess. <laughs> he couldn't come here. Uh, <laughs> well, there's uh, the run by Jefferson to the right side. Beckham, uh, his mom was an All-American yeah. track star at LSU. Great his dad family. played football. A yep. lot of speed in their family. So it just goes to tell you what Les Miles has done, though, keeping these players in state. You know, uh, I, I really wanted to pick your brain about these type of offenses. And I do think you have to filter the advice that you get. You can't have too many coaches. Uh, when I came to Tennessee, my dad told me, he said, son, you hit there, huh? Yeah. Uh, he, said, he said, Peyton, he, he said, Tennessee coaches are going to coach you. I'll be there for advice if you have questions. But I just want to be your father. And I know Phil does the same thing with Matt. I'm sure Chris is there as a resource for Matt. But uh, what a great kid. What a great opportunity for him. Uh, LSU's probably got Can their call. Can you tell if they're going to blitz? Can you feel it? They're going to, they're going to drop back here. And the man. 
Yep. Left side. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. His back foot, Randall it? and Lee are what really connecting as, uh, as a combo. Thing you develop is depth. Right. And LSU has so much of it. Our two best players are out for the season right now, Hunter and Bray. Maybe Bray gets back, but we are playing shorthanded, and it's tough when you're playing a powerhouse like this. Well, I and guess, now uh, you're playing way down. There's yeah, the touchdown. I think LSU fans said, well, good for that. We bring Peyton on, and we take a long yeah. drive right when you're... I'm, I mean, I, I am from Louisiana. But I'm a Tennessee <laughs> ball at heart, so that did hurt me to, to, uh, to witness that. So, uh, Devin Young and Hairston will kick off. Returnable, taken at the nine. This is Devon Young, number 19, goes to his left and runs out of room. Now let's take a look at the game trends. And it's now third and 10. See if the blitz is coming from the corner. It is. Sims got it, but it's far short. Oh, no! Derek Rogers slipped the tackle, and uh, that's close. Brandon Taylor... Oh, and that might, he might have yeah, got the first Yeah, I think he did. Down. He broke. Yes. Yes. That was really nice timing because Sims had a guy right in his face as he let this ball go. There's the matchup right there. Watch it. Now watch Matthew try to rip the ball. See him try to rip the ball, and that allows Rodgers to get the extra three yards. Now Matthew has uh, applied that tactic successfully yes. three never, times this year. Yes. He doesn't quit on a play. Four wides for the Volunteers. Sims inside. Got it to Derek Rogers. Left side. Pull, big hole. Shakes the tackle. Down the sidelines and out of bounds at the 30. With a Tennessee first down, they are running the ball. They are. Ben Bartholomew, yep. the fullback that time, fitted very nicely on the isolation play. Option. Too quick. Yeah. Didn't force the play. Oh, dear. His preference is to go into the National Football League rather than college as an assistant coach. Yeah. Or an unpaid intern or whatever he's going to start out as. He'll work long hours, I know that. Bobbled snap, and Sims well, that's has a, to throw it away. And was that a bad snap again uh, from James Stone? This has been a story. A story all year. We saw it in the Florida game. James Stone, a left-hander, has been converted to a right-handed snap. This one was to the right. Not awful, but not perfect. Dribbled uh, or threw air balls about five times. Here's the punt from Matt Darr. Matthew, oh, beautiful, gracious, how about that? It would be on the shoulders of Jefferson now, see if they stay conservative and call in their defense. It looks like they will, yep. unless yep. Spencer Ware gets out of there and look at him. Yep, look at that. Look at him. First down. Wow. Second down. Might be the final play of the third quarter. Gives the fullback, JC. Oh, it's Kenny Hilliard. Boy, nice patience How that about time. that? Had a flag at the end of the play. And you know, this is what a good running game does. It goes along, and you think you got him stopped. Everybody gets a block, but a gifted runner finds just a little crease. It wasn't there where it was supposed to be. But you find it out the back door, and another first down, and a penalty tacked on. After the play, personal foul, number 99 of the defense, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. And that was Ben Martin just being frustrated at the end of that play. A late hit on the play, you think you got the run game stopped, and all of a sudden you come in and drive. And it, it, you know, it's... You start moving in, and all of a sudden the guy goes down, and he's there, and you just can't help yourself. That was a tough 15 yards. Now the clock will wind down, and that will be the end of three. Sustained drive by the LSU Tigers to open the third quarter. They extend the lead. We've reached the end of three, and the undefeated LSU Tigers are up 24-7.
We'll return to Neyland Stadium right after this word from your local station. We welcome you back to Neyland in Knoxville. 102,000 plus on hand. They actually reduced the, the capacity of this uh, wonderful stadium uh, when they did a remodel here a few years back. But it's still one of the larger ones in the country. We're in the fourth quarter. Vern Lundquist, Kerry Danielson, and Tracy Wilson. LSU has moved from its own one after the 46. Here's the sweep to the left, Michael Ford. And uh, again, very close to a first down. Jefferson will cut left. And he's got a lot of room down the sidelines, out of bounds at the 25-yard line. You know what I do think, though, is stop here for a second. All righty. The toss. Spencer Ware goes left. What a stiff arm. Oh, my goodness. That looks like something out of the 50s. I really would like to get a closer look at this. One of the things I've been arguing for a while is, why does the offense allow to stiff arm to the face mask? Let's see if this got to the face mask right here. See, I think that should be a penalty. If the defense can't do it, why can the offense do it? See, I, I think, you, you you know, hand to the face mask should be called both ways. That's a big advantage for the offense right there. And after that, you That's punch. right. What, uh, two passes, 15 plays, just two passes so far. Option, right side. Got it. Touchdown. Jordan Jefferson, a 99-yard drive. What I was going to say about LSU is you watch the option right here and you think of everything, how it fits now against Alabama. I think both LSU and Alabama can keep their focus because of each other. They know the other guy, they feel the other one's not going to lose, so there's not going to be any letdowns. Right. They know they have to win them all to get the chance to play each other for the championship. Be a part of it. Uh, Morris play. Well, that drive right there with your backup quarterback was a pretty uh, impressive drive. And it just gives you thought of going into that Alabama game. And then they finish off, obviously, with a tough Arkansas team. You know, I, I know they got some other games, but I, I just got a feeling, oh, we got to do next week's game. I better yes. pump that up a Auburn, bit. Huh? Auburn is at LSU, and right. we will be there. Yeah. Tigers and against the Tigers. Uh, it's going to be a huge upset if either one of them lose a game until they play each other. Huge. And here's the return. Oh! Devron Young, foot race. LSU had an angle. As Russell Shepard yeah, came back. Yeah, it was Russell Shepard. I had to check to make sure there weren't duplicate oh, two numbers. Chance, yeah. yeah. So Shepard, who's got great speed, had the angle, but it is a 60-yard return. Couple dodges to the outside, and all of a sudden he had a lot of space. And uh, again, LSU shows that they've got about eight players that can run with anybody in this conference outside of Jeff Demps when he's healthy. First down, 10. Play action, Sims steps up. Oh, he had Rivera. And tight it's going to be intercepted. No, no. It. Wow. Uh, Michael Rivera is so upset. He, he, he's still yelling at the coaches on the sideline. No safety in the middle of the field at all. And and he just, I don't know what the play, you know, the coach could be telling Matt to go to the outside, but Rivera's right here. No one in the middle of the field. He gets really upset, turns around, and the frustration of being a receiver who beats his guy and doesn't get the football, I've been there. And LSU up 31 to 7. About to win their seventh consecutive game this year by double digits. That one is behind the intended receiver. And actually, it'll be eight in a row if you go back to the last game last year. Derek Dooley. Yeah, as we look at Derek, he knew that this was the stretch of football, a, a brutal stretch here. 
You know, Georgia, they lost when they lost their quarterback. That's a game he knew he had to win. He loses his guy. Then it's LSU at Alabama, South Carolina, and a couple weeks later, they got Arkansas. Yeah. I mean, it, this is going to be very difficult. You know, I don't. it would have been tough with Bray and Hunter. Without both of them, it, it, they, I just don't know if they got enough. Fourth down, and the balls will go for it. Fourth down and eight. Two wides to the right side. Here's Sims back. He's six of 19 so far. Oh, my goodness. There's Theral Simon, number 24. It was a very odd, odd, odd route. Yeah. No, nobody went past the first down marker, I don't think. Next year, I got to tell you, the SEC is going to be loaded at yep. quarterback. Tyler Bray's coming back. Aaron Murray's coming back. Tyler Wilson's coming back. Connor Shaw. Zach Mettenberger will be the quarterback with this great team right here. Right. A.J. McCarron at, a, at, at, at Alabama. It'll be a quarterback-heavy league next season. On second down, the handoff comes near side. Michael Ford. He's got some room, and he's got a first down out of bounds to stop the clock. Where are the weaknesses on this LSU team? Mm -hmm. where, where are the chinks? Where are the Achilles heels? So far, it's hard to spot one. Very solid football team. Spencer Ware inside the 15 to the 14 to 22 remaining in this one. Matt Sims was given a little... You know, you never want to have a guy in front of you get injured, and that's how you get your chance. Brad Sims gets the good news and the bad news. You're going to be the starter. Good news, the bad news, you get LSU and Alabama. Yeah, and remember Florida had, to, for the first time in the school's history, face two top three teams back-to-back. -back. Well, now Tennessee is doing the same thing. They go down to uh, Tuscaloosa next. And interesting, Gary, I think that both Alabama and LSU have an open week oh, yeah, before their game. And that's no accident. If one guy gets it, oh, the yeah. schedule makers got to give it to the other side. Shepard out here on the wing, shakes a tackle. He'll get in for the score. Another touchdown, another throw by Jarrett Lee. And Russell Shepard adds to the pain felt by the Tennessee Volunteers. Before the game, he thinks this is the best LSU team he's ever seen. And there's a sense of history for you. Well, and, and John Chavis, the defensive coordinator, and his connections with Tennessee, says this defense is as good as the one I had in 98 with the national championship Tennessee football team. Nice game on first down, 116 to go. And uh, it would appear that they're going to let the uh, clock expire and let the game end. Tyron Matthew, number seven, Derek Dooley. In his second season as the head coach, was on the staff, of course, with Nick Saban for 2000-2004 at LSU. Here's Lane going right, and uh, that might be enough at first. Well, how about the players of the game? Jared Lee, 10 of 14, a very efficient game, two touchdowns. And then Jordan Jefferson, 13 carries, 76 yards, and a touchdown. It's working. They have a very good football team. Usually these situations blow up. But, you know, in this case, LSU is so good. There's only a couple teams that have a chance to beat them in my mind. And I think this is going to work out for them this year. It's potentially tough, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. On third down, that is a first down, and Lane goes around the corner, bumped out of bounds to stop the clock with nine seconds to go. And so we have uh, run down to the final play of the game. Jordan Jefferson. Reinstated three weeks ago after the four-game suspension. They dealt with a lot, this LSU team did in the summer. Derek Dooley, of course, has dealt with a lot in his second year, most notably. Now, I think he needs two more classes. Yeah. The absence of his quarterback and his best wide receiver. Well, and, and two more recruiting classes, yeah. I think. Yeah. I, I, I just think they're not there yet. This one's in the book with a final score of 38 to 7. We're walking through. We will return to Neyland Stadium in Knoxville. Right after these messages, the final 38-7.
L S U.